Okay, let's talk about linear equations. And if you're taking any sort of algebra course, things like pre-algebra, algebra one, this is a huge topic. Now, what is a linear equation? Well, if we just look at the root word of uh, here of uh, linear, what we have is lines. So what we're talking about are equations of lines. And that kind of falls in line with our problem right here. So our problem is a linear equation problem. And let's go and read the problem right now. It says graph the line with a slope of two thirds and a y intercept equal to one. So if you think you could do this, go ahead and take out a piece of paper and a pencil and go ahead and just do a quick sketch. It doesn't have to be perfect. Of course, I'm gonna be using this lovely uh, graph paper right here. Just see if we can kind of get a accurate um, sketch of this line with a slope of two thirds and a y intercept equal to one. I'm actually going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then I'm going to walk through this step by step. Now, you can't put your graph into the comment section. That would be pretty cool if you can. But uh, put into the comment section if you're able to do this or if you are totally confused. But uh, anyways, either way, we're going to learn how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades. It really is my true passion to help as many people as I possibly can learn mathematics. And I'm gonna tell you right now, all of you could be successful in math, and I'm especially speaking to those of you that have a tough time with math. Please do not give up. Really what you need uh, to be successful in math is great math instruction. It's so easy to get confused uh, by all the technical things and variables and formulas um, in mathematics, especially things like algebra. So, uh, you know, if you are confused, well, it's not all your fault, okay? What you need is math instruction that you understand. Now, the way I like to teach math is to explain things in an easy to understand way so all students get what's going on uh, without watering down what you need to know. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test like the GED, SAT, or teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses uh, that cover these categories and much, much more. Now, uh, you use my math courses as either um, a supplement, they're not designed to fully replace your course, okay? Uh, they're designed to kind of give you the support in your specific course or supplement your course, but you could use all my courses as full complete instruction as well. I'm also gonna leave links to my math notes in the description as well. You need to have great notes. Hopefully you're taking your own awesome notes. If you're not, you need to start improving, but you can use my notes in the meantime if you like. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer here. So we have a line with a slope of two thirds and a y-intercept equal to one. All right, so basically this is what you should have. Now you're gonna wanna have a nice little xy plane and here is the line. So at a minimum, this would be your line, but it's uh, more appropriate when you're graphing or sketching a line to have a couple points of reference on your line. So I have here, the point zero one, which is the y-intercept, and another point that's on this line, three, three. And this right here is actually the specific linear equation to this line. Now, if you didn't uh, write this, that doesn't mean that you're wrong, but that would be a nice bonus. But basically, you'll know whether you got this right or if you uh, did not. Either way, we're gonna walk through exactly how to do this. But uh, anyways, for those of you that did get this correct, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and a plus a 100% and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know how to graph a linear equation. I'm pretty sure they'll be very impressed with that. They're gonna be like, wow, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the actual solution here. So what we're gonna do is graph the line. Now, when you see the word line, in algebra, you can just, uh, it's basically synonymous with linear, with linear equation, okay? So I could say graph the linear equation with a slope of two thirds and y equals uh, one. But anyway, you just need to understand that the uh, term line, okay, by definition is the same thing. It's the graphical representation of a linear equation. All right, so in algebra, probably the number one way to graph lines, graph linear equations, is using the slope-intercept form. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
that is y equals mx plus b. So hopefully you're familiar with this form of a line or this form of a linear equation. Now m is the slope of a line. That's the number in front of an x. Now of course we know the slope. It is 2 thirds and b is the y-intercept. So we know this, uh, both pieces of information. So we could just simply write um, uh, this actual specific linear equation by just being, uh, writing out y equals 2 thirds x. Again, this is our m and then our b, our y-intercept is one. Okay, so this is the actual equation that we're looking to solve. So really, this problem, uh, you know, could be stated this way: graph the linear equation y equals two thirds x plus one. So what we're really, really talking about is how do you graph a line when it is in y equals mx plus b form or slope-intercept form? Okay, so this is super easy, but a lot of students get confused. But before I even tell you the little uh, procedure here. How many points do you need to plot on your graph to graph a line? Well, one is not enough, right? So I'm like, oh, I got one point. I don't really know what the line's gonna look like. Yeah, you need two points at a minimum. Now you could have three points, but that's you know uh, not required, but you, you need a minimum of two points to graph a line, right? So how do we get these two points? Well, we're gonna always start with the y-intercept. This will be our first point. Okay, this is so, so easy. You're going to see how this works in just one second. So how do we get our second point? Well, we're going to use our slope information here, two thirds. I like to think of it as like driving directions to get to our second point. Okay, then we'll have our two points and then we can draw, uh, graph the line. Okay, so again, we're going to start with the Y intercept as our first point. We're going to plot that. Then we're going to use the slope information as kind of a set of driving directions. And we're gonna start from the first point's location and then we're going to arrive at a second point and then we'll be able to graph this line. It's gonna be easier to kind of see this in action. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay, now if you're like already thinking, boy, I'm gonna need additional help with this, uh, I teach all this completely in my pre-algebra and algebra one courses in my math help program. So if you really wanna take a deep dive into uh, linear equations, those are the courses that you wanna check out. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is to plot the y-intercept. So remember, we have this. It's not necessary for you to understand that we're dealing with the linear equation y equals two thirds x plus one. Hopefully you understand that, but this is where we have to start with that one or y-intercept. So what we're gonna do is plot a one on the y-axis. That's the location where the line is going to intercept the y-axis, i.e. the y-intercept. So we're gonna plot a point on one on the y-axis. Okay, so you can see here I'm using graph paper. So just plot a point right there, one. Now, you can label that point and it's actually preferable that you do, okay? But in this case, I'm just gonna just plot a one right there. Now, we need to use the slope right here, the slope information, to get to the second point. And this is where a lot of students get confused. So a real quick review. So what is the slope? Well, the slope by definition is the rise over the run of a line. Now the rise and run of a line is always gonna look like this. So if you have a positive slope, you're gonna, it's gonna be up and over to the right. So you're rising up this much and you're running over this much. So it's a, basically, it's gonna be up and to the right, but the run is always to the right, and so our line will look like so, okay? If you have a negative slope, your rise is down, okay? You have a negative rise, but your run is always to the right. So if this was a slope of negative two thirds, it would be down and to the right, but it's positive, so it's gonna be up and to the right, okay? There's one thing you really need to understand about linear equations, that is slope. All right, so here's how we do this. So from uh, from one, okay, we're gonna use our driving directions, the rise and run, the slope, and we're gonna go up two, okay, and then we're going to uh, turn right and go out three. That is our driving directions to get to our second point. But we need to start this from our y-intercept point. So that's one. Okay, so we're gonna go up two right here. So one, two, just count that off. Remember, you're starting at one, so this is one, two, three, but you're gonna go up two from the y-intercept and then you're gonna go over right three, one, two, three, and that lands us on our second point. And basically you're done. All you need to do is draw your lovely 
uh, line that goes through those two points. Let's go ahead and take a look at the final graph right now. So here you go. Now this point here is zero, 01. Okay, that is the y-intercept. And if we count, if we're just really careful about this, this is one right here. So if we went up two, so this is two, three, and then we went over one, two, three. So this point would be three, three. This point would be uh, zero, one. And then of course, our final linear equation is y equals two thirds x plus one. If you showed all this information on your graph, uh, on a quiz or test, your teacher would be just so impressed and be like, boy, this is like really good work. You must be watching that guy on YouTube. I don't know, or studying extra hard, but you're doing something right. Okay, so if this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.